Now the question is, father's age is a two-digit number, let's say x5. Son's age is reverse of father age, father's age, let's say yx. As we know, this we can write as 10x plus y, units place, tens place, and this we can write as 10y plus x. Now one year back, father will be, this is the present age, he will be minus one. He was twice of son's age, one year back, even son will be minus one. So what do we get is 10x plus y minus one, 20y plus 2x minus two, so what all we get here is 19y minus 1 equal to 8x. Quick check. Father's age xy, 10x plus y. Son's age yx, 10y plus x. One year back, this will be minus 1. One year back, this will be minus 1. One year back, father's age was twice of son's age. Solving it, we get this thing. Now, x and y are digits and what did we get here is x equal to 19y minus 1 upon 8. x has to be equal to 19y minus 1 upon 8. Now, we need x and y as digits, so they should be integers. One way is 19y minus 1 upon 8. Trial and error. If we put y equal to 1, we get 19 minus 1 upon 8 is going to be in points, no. If we try y equal to 2, 19 to the 38 minus 1 upon 8, again is going to be in points, no. We try y equal to 3, 57 minus 1 upon 8, 56 upon 8, that is 7. So it works 5, if y equal to 3, we get x equal to 7. Trial and error we tried. If we put y1, this is going to be fractional value. If we put y equal to 2, it's going to be fractional value. If we put y equal to 3, we get proper x equal to 7. So as you can see, what we'll be getting is father's present age 73, son's present age 37. Inverse of each other and one year back 36 and 72 twice. But now the smart one. We need x equal to 19y minus 1 upon 8. As we know, 80 is divisible by 8. Now, if 80 plus 8, if we divide, again it's divisible by 8. Concept is if ax is divisible by x plus any multiple of x will always be divisible by x. Simply. If 72 is divisible by 8 and 16 is divisible by 8, their summation will also be divisible by 8. So now, what we need is 19y minus 1 should be divisible by 8, otherwise x will come in point. Nearest multiple of 8 to 19 is 8 to the 16. So we write 19y minus 1 as 16y plus 3y. 16 into anything is always going to be divisible by 8. 16 into anything is always going to be divisible by 8. So now what we are left out with is 3y minus 1. If we want this whole number to be divisible by 8, 16y is always divisible by 8. We want 3y minus 1 to be divisible by 8. So it should be minimum 8. If it's divisible by 8, it should be minimum 8 y works out 3. I repeat, what did I say? Logical part, it's very very important concept. What we know is, if 80 is divisible by 8, 80 plus any multiple of 8 will also be divisible by 8. Or, ax is multiple of x, plus x will also be multiple of x. We want 19y minus 1 to be divisible by 8. We find nearest multiple of 8 to 19. 16y is divisible by 8. We want 3y minus 1 also to be divisible by 8 so that the whole number will be divisible by 8. So if 3y minus 1 is 8, we get y value 3. And if we put y value 3, we will be getting x value 7. If we put y value 3, 
we get 19 into 357 minus 1 upon 8 x value 7. Luckily, it worked out with 8. Means 3y minus 1, if it did not work out with 8, we would have tried 16. If it did not work out with 16, we would have tried with 24. So what we know is father's age is 73 and son's age is 37. Last part I repeat after this what we did. 19y minus 1 should be divisible by 8. 16y is always divisible by 8. 3y minus 1 to be divisible by 8, it should be 8 or 16 or 24 or 32. What we tried was 3y minus 1, luckily it worked out as 8 itself. So y3, we put y3 and we get x as 7. So 73 and 37.